Give me 60 seconds and I'll tell you about Glenrothes 1987 Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Hello fellow whiskey lovers, welcome to 60 Second Review number 88 with me, Ari, the Whiskey Guy. Whether it's for a birthday, a holiday gift, or just a little something to treat yourself, the Whiskey Guy store is the place to find the perfect whiskey gift. Apparel, accessories, glassware, books, uh, just about everything except the whiskey itself. Find the perfect gift today at thewhiskeyguy.com slash shop. Let's get into today's whiskey. Thank you to the Seattle Campari America team for giving me this review bottle. You can also watch my 60 second review of Glen Roth's 1994 in 60 second review number five. An older whiskey isn't necessarily better, even though it may cost a whole lot more. And because a younger whiskey is more affordable, doesn't make it worse. Rarity is what made me cautious with this bottle of 1987 Glenrothes. The vintage products are what Glenrothes are known for, and I think what they do really well. Distilled in 1987 and bottled in 2005, making this an 18-year whiskey, there is lots of wood influence here on the nose. There's almost no heat, just luscious dried fruit and well-oiled leather. The finish is surprising as well, a wash of cinnamon and nutmeg with red chili pepper heat. No, older doesn't mean better. More expensive doesn't mean better, and rare doesn't mean better, but this whiskey is absolutely wonderful. I've seen it priced as high as $500 or more per bottle, but it goes on my top shelf. And that's Glen Rothis 1987 Single Malt Scotch Whiskey in 60 seconds. Click that like button and pour another dram while you check out more Whiskey Guy videos. And don't forget to subscribe to the Whiskey Guy podcast. You can support the Whiskey Guy by checking out my Patreon campaign and get the perfect gift for the whiskey lover in your life in the Whiskey Guy store.